How to build an email list in Gumroad. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can build your specific or your personal email list collecting customers within Gumroad. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to open up Gumroad. Right there I have the Gumroad Marketplace. You can see all of the products and here we have it. Now, after you have opened Gumroad, sign in into your account. This is very simple. As you can see, my account is ready and my settings are set. So, the thing that I need to do right there is to go to the product. Now, I'm going to create a new product. But here, I am having a suggestion for you. If you want to collect the emails, all you have to do is to create a free thing. Because people will be attracted to free things and not the paid one. If you have something paid, also something that has a lot of popularity, it is okay. But right there in our video or the purpose of the video, which is collecting or building an email list to start a campaign for our future, we need a free product. Here for free products, we have some uh, variation. If you set a digital product, but I highly recommend you to use an ebook or a free ebook on something. Now, we're going to create an ebook, then we are going to set the price of it. So, let's name that ebook, for example, How to Success in, uh, let's say, Graphic, like this, Graphic Design. Something like this. Now, for the price, we are going to set zero. Now, let's go to the customization. Here we have the product customization. So, I'm going to Canva and then I'm going simply to type ebook on the search bar. Now, we have the templates. As you can see, we have a lot of templates. Use one of these templates and start creating your ebook. For example, I will go with any of these templates, then we are going to customize our own. Let's say right there and see this one. I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to click on customize. All we have to do right there is to change the background color. So we are going to get our unique color. Right there, I'm going to set this maybe. This is a little bit uh, right there positive, I think. So for this, I'm going to set the white and I'm going to delete the name or set my name right there, Jack. Smith. So right there, we are going to set the title. Let's go back to here. I'm going to get this title. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. Graphic with the I, not with the G. So this is obviously wrong. And here we have it. Now let's go back to Canva. Make the, the title a little bit smaller. And we need to add some elements. Right there, I'm going to put step A free ebook to show you. Show you how to begin as a graphic designer. Make sure to mention something free like right there to attract the attention. So for the color, maybe you are going to set it to this one and I'm going to add an effect on it because this is not very attracting. Let's use the outline maybe. And for the outline, I'm going to sit like this. This is more, more attracting. Now we are going to use some elements. Let's go ahead right there and use some elements. Free, I'm going to set free right there. Go ahead and set or uh, use the graphic free. I'm going to use the color red and the stars. I'm going to use them as let's say white. And this is it. So. We're going to get this cover. I'm going to set something like two or three pages. So we are going to create a PDF. Go ahead right there and use a text box. For example, like that. 
This is just an example. I'm not going to create a whole book right there. So simply keep that in mind and keep up your work. Here you have to set up your product ready. You can use the magic writer right there or you can get the help of ChatGPT. And if you are a designer, uh, why not create your own book right there like that? And there we have it. This is just an example. Then we are going to click on download. Get it as a PDF standard. Download again. And now we are going to wait. Wait for here. And now we have the book. We are going to open it to let you see the demonstration of it. Like that. Now we are going to right there to the page one and here we have it this is the cover so we are going right there to the gum road again we have the product with the description so i'm going to get all of this copy paste it right there here we have it now for the url i'm going to set free ebook design or free design ebook like that if you have a domain post it or the cover i'm going to get a cover so we need right there to get the cover so the first one is png i'm going to select only the first image click on download and here we have it i'm going back upload here boom we have the the file it will be uploaded soon for thumbnail the same thing you are going to set the thumbnail for the product i want to i want this here the, this is it for or the this is the call to action for three things summary will have a free ebook this is it also so we have here pages you can set the pages to five value i don't know it's up to you so i'm going to delete that integration here invite your customer to a circle community this is up to you to use or uh, add a api token also for this one if you want to invite the customers or the uh, getters of this product to join a discord server it would be also nice you can go ahead and let them uh, right there uh, set their email addresses into discord so automatically whenever they join discord they will be going ahead and set their email so this is an indirect right there strategy for pricing says zero version we are going to set it like that now we are going to head over content within the content we are going to set the product we are going to set the product from here and here we have the pdf now the last thing is to wait for the product to be downloaded and we are going to or they are publish it now we have the product ready click on publish and right there we have the unique link so everything is set and everything is in details we have the preview we have everything for here make sure to detail more the description so the customers will know what they will get and also add some illustrations on the cover now all we have to do here we have the two choices either you go ahead and create an email then we are going to connect with our customers here post new updates and send email broadcasts and use powerful automated workflows to connect and grow your audience or you can go ahead directly to the workflow and create a trigger so we are going right there to the emails click on create a new email and then you're going to set a title set right there a personalized message and you can save it also you can preview that email and publish it right away let's begin right there with the creation of a workflow so i am on the workflows i'm going to click on continue or create new here we have the name of it for example i'm going to put email collecting like that and then we have the trigger set up the trigger as purchase now we are going to set on has bought any of the product or you can set the ebook now 
for the paid more than and less let it empty even if it will demand you so you are going to negotiate that price for the purchase date we are going to set from this date so we are on to purchase before let it like this from anywhere this is the country selector so we are going to click on continue and there we are going to create the email for example here zero hour after the purchase we are going to set only one hour or two it is up to you for example the subject thank you for your right here uh, let's say thank you for your uh, buying or for buying or getting our for example ebook here is more for example i'm going to set this and here we have it now for the detailed message you can add whatever you want let's say that we are going to set or create a newsletter you can go back to canva then you are going to create a newsletter i'm going back right here and let's say here and see if we have a newsletter already so i think that i have one i'm going to get that newsletter as a png and also we are going to set this now the first thing is to get the newsletter download it as a png go ahead and right there then we are going to open up a account or an account without or within mailchimp go ahead and open up your account and then we're going to create right there from the dashboard of mailchimp create right there a landing page not a simple landing page but we are going to click on a sign up form right there we have a drop down menu we're going to set for example sign up landing page now we are going to set email like that and for the audience we are going to choose the audience uh, right there begin and all we need to do right there is to create an audience but i have already created my uh, audience so we are going to choose a template use one of these templates for example to go ahead and grow your list right there and we are going to modify uh, things right here we have a drag and drop menu we have a logo we have everything so we are going to modify this one so uh, right there sign up to get more free product free like that product and here we have it for this one you can go ahead and customize this and i will let this page only so i'm going to click on save and first right there it is saving we're going to leave that page and finally we are going to get a a link for that email right there ready to publish so we are going to publish this page again wait for a few seconds here we have the page so we are going to see that link we have that link so all we have to do is to copy and paste that link within right here the email collect i have put my right there my as you can see my image or my newsletter so we are going to insert a link here we have the link we are going to add it and it is linked into the image itself whenever a person click on the image they will be linked right there click on add email if you want to add another one but right there i'm going simply to save the changes and click on publish publish now and here we have it the workflow is published that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one